All right, good afternoon. We are on the San Marcos Pass in between Solvang and Santa Barbara. Um, I don't know what these mountains are called behind us, but damn, they're beautiful. High. It's called High Mountains. <laughs> there is a road around here called Painted Caves that we won't talk about right now. The man who's filming uh, right now <clears throat> had a little unfortunate mishap there this uh, spring. Um, so the man with me is Scotty Rolfs of Colorado. How are you doing today? Hanging. You I sure thread. are, man. I thread. Every time I look anywhere in the Peloton and I see this yellow tape, I know it's Scotty. It's true. <laughs> so, um, how's Ellie doing today? She is doing fantastic. How was the movie the other day? The movie? She didn't <laughs> tell me about it. She did not tell me about the movie. All right, good. Um, so, we have uh, three dedications this afternoon. Uh, two of them are friends of mine from Milwaukee, and one of them is a friend of, uh, of ours from, uh, from New Orleans. We uh, did it like this today because next year, Pablo of Across America will, be, uh, will go from Milwaukee to New Orleans. Um, we'll announce the full details on that closer to the ride, but uh, that's going to be the course next year. We're very excited about this. Um, our first dedication today is to 10-year-old uh, Holland Peterson. Um, she is from Milwaukee, the city that I'm from, right? That's pretty awesome. And uh, another little girl named Eva White is from Waukesha, which is a suburb of Milwaukee. Um, that is also great too, but uh, it is not technically where I'm from. Um, both of these young ladies have gone through extensive cancer treatment and, and are um, clear now and are back in school and back in their normal lives. And uh, our third dedication today is to a six-year-old from New Orleans named Caitlin Russell. Um, who is a very good friend of ours and her parents are good friends of ours. Her mom actually was one of the people last year who, who gathered names for our dedications. Um, I think she was the only person. That, she may have had an assistant helping her with that. And She was in our video um, at our dinner party in New Orleans. If you recall the, the, the mom's video that we did, uh, her mom was one of those moms. And um, so today we are honoring these three little girls as we climb these giant um, mountain passes and we will eventually head off that way and and descend into Santa Barbara um, if you've ever been to Santa Barbara and you and you turn away from the ocean and look back up at the mountains that's where we are right now and uh, the descent that we're going to take going into the city is is uh, quite fast quite steep and uh, it should be a hell of a lot of fun um, the cool thing about it is if you're a kid and you like being on a roller coaster, imagine being in a roller coaster that looks like this and you're just flying down a mountain pass <clears throat> going below 40 miles an hour, but maybe not much. Uh, we will definitely be holding our brakes a little bit as we go down today so we don't fly too fast. Um, it's really an honor to have you here with us um, today and you drove a long way to get here. We did, but wouldn't miss it for the world. We're so glad we were able to make it and everything worked out with Ellie and just, you know, this is a big thing. It's amazing. Yeah. I like your bracelet. You like that? Yeah. Everlasting love lives in Ellie. Spells out Ellie. Right. Yeah, what is that called? Is that called an anagram? It is an anagram. Dude, I like that. Yeah, look at that. That sounds like something from a, that sounds like a heavy metal album title. Anagram. <laughs> <laughs> Let, we're actually going to name our band Anagram, okay? There's a band starting out here. It was called Swan Your Tap, but we're going to save that for the movie. <laughs> um, all right, so we'll check in. Uh, maybe we'll do another video from the road at some point. Um, or uh, we'll definitely check in from the hotel when we get to Ventura. Thank you all for uh, tuning in. If you haven't seen the Twitter post or the Facebook post, we uh, are at 161% of our fundraising goal as of this morning. Um, when we ate breakfast, we were, we were at $302,000, and after breakfast, I checked my email, and uh, uh, a family who asked to remain uh, anonymous publicly uh, donated $500,000 to Pablo Across America. Uh, that puts us at $802,000, by my math, and uh, we are absolutely humbled. I'm still a bit beside myself. Um, I can't even really concentrate on riding, I'm so beside myself. And Joanne pulled her car over when I called her to tell her this uh, because she was like hyperventilating. It's really great to hear my wife hyperventilating about something that's
happy and joyful and that is going to help us to, uh, to fuel our mission for the Pablo Foundation. So uh, to our anonymous donors, we know who you are of course, we love you and we thank you. And to all of you who've donated a penny or $10 or $500 or anything in between, we thank you just the same. See you later.